Um, hello, Milers. This is Beverly of Miles and Coffee. As you can see behind me, I'm at a beautiful location. I have a special guest today because on Miles and Coffee, we're actually celebrating my one year anniversary of residency in beautiful La Paz. So without further ado, get your favorite drink, whatever that is, and join us for this live coffee talk with my immigration facilitator. I hope you'll join me. Well, hello, Jimena Lynn's Point Thompson. Hello, Beverly. Oh my goodness, it's been a year. Can you believe yeah. it? Yay! Celebration. Well, celebration time. So, <laughs> a little bit of a... Mm. Where are we today, Jimena? We are in beautiful La Paz <laughs> on the Malecon. Oh my, is this the Malecon? Yes, it oh. is a, a hidden spot we locals have. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> You'll have to come here and then I'll tell you. <laughs> so we're drinking coffee and I have some questions. So I want the focus to be on my beautiful facilitator. She's the one who helped me. And of course, you have seen my latest videos of host relocation. This is part two or part three, I'm sorry, in the series on things we love about La Paz. So... Helena, what do you want people to know about this beautiful place? First of all, tell them, um, what is this water we're looking at? This is the Sea of Cortez. Aha, uh -huh. this is yes. the Sea of Cortez. So La Paz faces the Sea of Cortez side of the ocean. Excellent. Okay, and so what are some things we want to talk about uh, that if they come and visit La Paz? Well, first of all, uh, what I love about La Paz is its natural beauty, mm. not only from the sea, which the color is like uh, so beautiful, blue, and but also because of the desert and the contra contrast it makes from the desert and the and the sea. Mm -hmm. So, in natural beauty, um, you can never get enough of it. Excellent. Excellent. So the natural beauty, I can attest to that. What else should people know about this beautiful place? Well, second, my favorite, <laughs> it's the people. Oh. The people, it's just beautiful. It's uh, it's so nice. It's so helpful. Mm -hmm. Like they will reach out to you, like with real nice intentions to help or just to talk or have yes. a chat. People oh is people are beautiful. The people here are almost too friendly. I say that because they will reach out to you, especially in the grocery store. <laughs> Yes, yes, for sure. Yeah. They help me a lot in the grocery store. <laughs> well, you know, I'm a single traveler and uh, a lot of the viewers are single and they want to know, is La Paz safe? It is very safe. I live also here by myself as a woman. <laughs> like I can walk in the streets at night. Uh, uh, today in the morning I was talking to a friend. I, I forgot to lock my car and it didn't happen anything. It's very, very safe. Of course, I don't want us to be uh, like uh, overconfident, yes. but you can feel very safe as a single person living by your own, as a woman, as any any age, everything. It's very safe. Thank you, and I, I feel that. So I'm gonna give a thumbs up on the, on the safety. <laughs> Okay, well, what about this thing? You know, I know that this is the capital of Baja California Sur. So what else should we know? Okay, La Paz is a, it's a city. Mm -hmm. It's considered a city. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the services of a city, like large supermarkets, cinemas, mm -hmm. um, uh, auto dealerships. Uh, you can find, like, um, department stores. Yes. You can find mostly all of the services of a good city but you still have the touch and the feeling of a small town because all the people know each other you have less traffic you can walk like almost everywhere everywhere and uh, i don't know it has like the best things of both worlds exactly i i can attest to that you can walk anywhere and i don't even want to own the car because i like walking <laughs> Okay, so now what about this thing about, I heard and read that maybe there might be cruises coming to uh, the Pichilingue. Is this going to be big developments coming to La Paz? Okay, what I've seen uh, from the last um, five or eight years, mm -hmm. um, 
La Paz comparing to other tourist cities, mm -hmm. it's been like slow down on its like uh, like super touristic developments because people here are very uh, concerned mm -hmm. about that. Mm -hmm. So big de you can you don't watch here in La Paz comparing to other cities like big developments cruise ships, uh, like big, like all-inclusive uh, hotels, you you don't find that. So if you like that kind of living, like the, the quiet, the small town feeling, this is perfect for you. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much for that. So I hope that it stays that small town feel. What else should we know about the environment in La Paz? Okay. Um, La Paz has a large uh like biologic science or marine uh, related study school. Mm -hmm. So people are very environmentally aware and concerned. Mm -hmm. So they will take care of their treasure. Like this is a beautiful place. It's yes. like a paradise itself. So uh, people are very concerned and they, they will try to, as long as they can to keep it that way. Well, you know, that is an actual interesting point. Please remember to keep La Paz beautiful. When you come and visit, be mindful of your straws and uh, plastic and uh, the sunscreen because we want to keep the environment safe because of the marine life, you know. So this is not coming from him and I. Him and I, I'm saying this. <laughs> you know, we want to keep the environment safe, and you can even buy uh, reusable straws, um, reusable bags, and things of that nature. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Well, we're gonna clink our cups here. I'm so thankful. I, you guys, I can't stop smiling. Oh, thank you, Beverly. This is, as, as I said before, Jimena is one of the associates um, with Post Relocation. You'll see the link down below. If, and if for any of your immigration needs, this is a beautiful resource. And um, where are you originally from, Jimena? I am originally from Querétaro, which is very near Mexico City. Mm. And I moved to this wonderful paradise about eight years ago, and I just fall in love with this place. I, we're, we're and it's people. And the people. And I, I would like to add that I've been here a little over a year, and I just interviewed Henry from another restaurant, and he said it best. So I'm going to repeat what he said. Other people come here to visit, but we get to live here. And so uh, keep La Paz in mind when you visit, and we'll see you next time on Miles and Coffee. Thank you, Beverly. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you, Jimena. There you have it. I am so thankful because now I am a Paseño and you can be too. Contact the professionals at Host Relocation and they will walk you through the process. Also remember that this video is brought to you by coffeechats.com. I've been using Coffee Chats as an all-in-one website scheduling and payments platform to host and monetize my private coaching sessions. And if you want to use this Coffee Chats premium service, use code Miles and Coffee get 20% off your premium subscription. So thank you for joining us. Please hit the like button and see you next time on Miles and Coffee.